very well explained, but uh, Saran, I just want to be a bit more realistic here. Um, astrology or prediction, and we understood now that it is not prediction, it is probability and possibility, but it is considered to be sin in many languages, not in languages, but in many religions. Correct. Specifically, like she was mentioning Islam. In all yeah. religions. Yeah, in all religions. In all so religions. Really? Yeah. Really? So, so, so something which God knows and somebody is predicting. Now, I, I very well know that uh, palmistry or astrology is, is, is a specific, it's a field of study. Correct. There is education in it. Because we are also told that a time would come when only by these mathematical calculations one would know even the stars and the heavens Correct. and everything. But then right Astronomy, now yeah. it, is, it is prohibited not to. Because again, prediction. So if it is not prediction, and if it is not prediction, our very mentality that it is a sin, how do you look into that? How would you explain that it is not a sin? So let, let, let's understand uh, it in two parts. One, that it is a sin. Okay. And the second part is that it is not sin. Mm -hmm. Now, there is no contradiction in between uh, that it is a sin, but then it is not a sin. There is a thin line in between. Mm -hmm. When you make it only and only prediction when you sit on the seat of the God when you then you are you know like having a contempt of the God you know what we call the contempt of the court you are sitting when you become judgmental when you sit in the seat of the judgment yeah. where only and only God can sit awesome. then wow. it is a sin yes because I am trying to take the place of the God and I yeah. am announcing this is what going to happen Nobody can take my word away. This is going to happen. So I am basically talking on behalf of the God or maybe I am trying to be God, which is a sin, which is a kufr. Wow. But the moment I say, listen, this is about to happen or probably this is going to happen. I can see it happening. So beware. Mm -hmm. Please make sure. Please make arrangements. Please secure yourself. Mm. I can see it coming. Mm. So, but that's... I can see it coming is that I am admitting that I am blessed with something that I can see. Wow. Yes. There is a difference. I am putting my foot down. This yes. is what is going to happen. My ego has bloated to the maximum. Mm -hmm. And I am saying, listen, God, you can take a seat back. Yeah. Let me talk to your people. Wow. Let me be a God for some time. Yeah. And I'm telling you this is going to happen. Yeah. No. But at the very same time, I am requesting somebody. Somebody has called me or somebody has come to me for an advice yeah. and I see that listen same way as doctor doctor is not trying to be a god yeah he's saying you are having fever he's saying you have typhoid he, he's saying that you have cancer or like there are so many yeah. other names but then the doctor is not being he's diagnosing it mm. he has diagnosed it but then at the very same time he is not saying that listen yeah. this is what it is yeah and I don't care and then he is telling you the right way how to come out of it. He is also telling you how you can be, uh, you know, like healthy again. How can you, what must have caused you. But then there is a sense of humbleness. Mm. And then there is a sense of approach to help you. Mm -hmm. Wow, everybody. Uh, this is really interesting. And through Saran, I have learned right now that... It is the only God or Almighty who judges. We humans can judge and we can take the police position, we can take the stance of the Almighty. Astrology is just the finger pointing out at the reality. Stay tuned everybody, we are going to come back and we have more questions because we also know that Sarun is a relationship coach. <laughs>